I'm back again in some simulator with the SA2E. Pick 12 missiles as usual and find the F86 server. A target is going to be daytime. Uh, daytime and the target is going to be a non jamming target. It's going to be approaching us from the northeast. Okay, let's start. System on. Green. Power the fire, fan zone, fire control red. Live mode, missile guidance channels, one, two, three. Channels one, two, three. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, okay, antenna up. Choose antenna here. Narrow mode, floating board has no target. We need to do some waiting. Oh yeah, we got a target, and I see him on radar, so let's do this quickly. There he is, he's... What the hell? Okay, let's first uh, target acquisition. Oh, no, second. Then let's move this. There. Lock, lock. Lock in range, let's move that. Uh, moving the both sides to align with the target. Target. No, no, no. Stop align the ball side right there. Target is now locked in both elevation range, elevation uh, range, and azimuth. Spin up missiles. I'm using normal mode now. Since I've locked up the target, uh, it's in automatic tracking mode. We can switch to lower mode. That's a uh, lobe on receive only. And in that mode, I'm um, spinning the missiles now. We, we are almost ready to launch. Let's switch to 75 km. Oh, looks like that target is still quite far out. 75 km mode. I need to wait for that target to be in good range, like 30 miles or something, before launching my missile. And then I'm gonna use three point missile guidance indicated by TT. Let's align the launchers with the fire control radar. It's aligning as you can see here. Yeah. Once you get those lights, it was green lights on or is it blue? That means uh, we are ready. And we got all six missiles are ready for launch. So I launch at 30 miles. It's 30 kilometers. Sorry, I just noted I've been saying miles instead of kilometers. So used to using miles. That is good now. Missile away. What's the missile? Second missile. Third missile. I have three missiles away.
Boom. Nice. There's the other missile. Boom. Explosion. The last missile. The last one. Boom. Three hits. Third target is probably now disintegrated. Three direct hits. And we want. I can still launch out three more missiles. See target elevation, I mean target altitude is decreasing. Velocity is very low right now best thing to do to know to get a better picture of what happened so let's save this action report to 21241 load up google Earth. all right the file open there goes this was our target site what our practice site and um, uh, we launched how many missiles we launched this was our f86 sub missiles uh, four and five did not explode i kind i think i stopped the simulation before the missiles got to their target but missiles one two and three Intercepted, intercepted the target velocity vector as you can see so what we don't know is whether we scored a hit see this thing doesn't show us I don't know if I can oh yeah I can play ah nice so that's what happened oh yeah so we can also we start here so that's what that was the F86 there goes my missile one missile one splash target Target continued, missile 2, splash target, missile 3, splash target. Ah, very nice, so we scored a uh, hit, I think. And that's pretty much it. Uh, unlike last time, uh, this time round, we acquired the target using the B-18 uh, spoon rest uh, target acquisition radar instead of the plotting board, like I did last time. So there are like, uh, I think, four methods of acquiring targets uh, with the SA-2. First method is you can use the plotting board the way we did yesterday. Second method is using the P18 spoon rest acquisition radar. Then the third method is using information from the integrated air defense, and I think that is used in conjunction with the plotting board. Uh, those are three methods already. And then the fourth method of acquiring targets is using the function fire control radar itself. But Using uh, the fire control radar in the early stages of target acquisition is said to be equal to trying to commit suicide because then uh, an aircraft could fire a harm and these uh, anti radiation missiles have ranges of up to I think 40 nautical miles. So, therefore, it's quite dangerous to use the fire control radar for initial target acquisition. So, for better combat use, the fire control radar is best used for the terminal or for the final stages of missile guidance so that being said next time i'll try to, sh to show you some action with the sa3 goa oh actually no i'm going to show some action uh, using an sa2 foxtrot you see there are two variants of this sa2 the simulator we have the sa2 e and the sa2 f so next time i show you some action using the sa2 f yeah thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel Thank <laughs> you.